This video focuses on how to create a systematic search using the EBSCO interface. In order to search effectively for all available evidence on your topic, you need to think about all the possible search terms you might use to describe that topic. In this search example, we are looking for evidence around body image and obesity. You can search any of the EBSCO databases using this process. From the home page, enter your first key term into the search box. Here we're starting with obesity. Click on search and the results will appear on screen, along with the search history box which we will use to build our search as we go. Click back into the search box at the top and enter another term which you consider to be relevant. And again click search. The results appear and the new term is added to the search history box. Continue to repeat this process until you've entered every term you can think of that would be relevant to your topic. Remember that small changes can make a difference to your results, so consider things like singulars and plurals, hyphenated terms and any spelling variations, for example American versus English spellings. When you've created a list in your search history box of all the possible variations on the term, it's time to join them together. Tick the box next to each of your terms and click on the search with OR button. OR is known as a Boolean operator and is used in searching to join terms together. You use OR to join together words that mean the same thing, so you will get a big broad result of possible options. On screen you'll see a new entry in your search history box which includes search 1, search 2, search 3. Repeat the process for the other elements of your search question. In this example we're looking at body image. Variations could include self-image. and self-perception. Again, each term is entered individually. When you're ready to group them together, tick them to select and click on the search with all button. You now have two big groups of search terms on your two topic areas. The final step is to connect these two together. This time tick the two boxes next to the OR groups and then click the search with AND button. This will look for articles which mention something from the first group as AND something from the second group. Using the AND operator makes your results smaller, more focused and more accurate. By searching for each term at a time and then combining them together, you achieve several things. Firstly, searching for terms one at a time allows you to see the individual results for each word. If the result for a word is very small, then check your spelling or make sure that it's the correct use of the term. If the result is large, you might find that it dominates your final result. If you've typed everything in together in one search, this may not be clear. However, by seeing each individual result, you can edit your search by reticking just the words that worked and missing out the unhelpful terms to get a better final outcome. For many assignments within health and social care, you need to demonstrate that you have searched correctly by including a copy of your search history in your assignment. Searching in this way gives you a clear search history that you can now copy and paste into your work.